You can't transmit quantum info in a classic physics sense in macroscopic particle number apparatus. This means in some intuitive, incomprehensible functional space, the entangled particles are still interacting in that space. And the transaction to three plus one macro dimensions is emergent. Okay, and I'm gonna disprove it right now, watch this. I'm just saying that in order to explore the claim that you can't transmit quantum information in a classical sense using macroscopic apparatus, we must break it down into its components and evaluate them in the context of quantum mechanics, classical physics, and the emergence of macroscopic behavior, right? You can't have one or the other. And the key point that I'm trying to make is measurements on one particle of an entangled pair do not influence the other's outcome in a way that can carry usable information, right? The results are very clearly and inherently probabilistic and require classical communicated communication to verify the correlations that it has. Quantum information isn't easily and readily transmitted or observed at a macroscopic scale because the coherence required for entanglement is typically destroyed, okay? There is no evidence that entangled particles continue interacting in a hidden space once decoherence occurs. In standard quantum mechanics, entanglement correlations are preserved mathematically in the wave function until measurements are made. This does not apply to an ongoing interaction in a hidden space though. So, it's just speculative notions about hidden spaces or emergent dimensions and it remains unproven. Simple as that.